Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be full week of the 26th, going to the 1st of September. I am going to dive straight into it. All right, my angels, I'm a little bit ill. So if my voice sounds like I am sick, I am sick. Um, but yeah, let's dive into it. Okay, and let me know what you think about the background. It was a little bit better this morning because now the light is like on me. I've had to close it a little bit. Um, but I will still put my lights behind me as well. So make it a little bit more brighter but let me know what you think all right just remember this is not my place it's my boyfriend's parents place so i'm not going to be painting the walls and all that kind of stuff of course but um we'll make adjustments like lamps and stuff like that but anyway let's dive into reading for you taurus let's see please spirit for my lovely tauruses this week Ooh, you have two. One I can see is regeneration. You're completely changing something. Did you get this last week? Basically, what it means is that you're being removed, maybe uh, with your permission or not, from spirit. You're being removed from a situation that either is just too toxic for you and it's doing you no good, or you've taken what you can from the situation. It's not serving your growth anymore. I always say that the person I'm reading for is this tree. And when you're a tree, it means that you're absorbing the things that are in your surroundings. Just like trees, they need nutrients in the soil, whatever, to, to survive. And in fact, what you can see here is that it feels like your leaves are kind of withering. Meaning that maybe you guys aren't the best version of yourself at the moment. You definitely are working towards it. I think it's your goal. But maybe you're feeling a bit like under the weather lately or a bit you know, not feeling yourself, and I think it's because of your environment, so they're saying here, there's something about, like, there is something that you might need to change in your environment, maybe it's just a, a relationship, or a, a friendship with somebody that's kind of taking something out of you, you know, it's, it's not doing you any good, it's kind of taking more from you than it's giving to you, um, maybe it's just a little bit of like a negative thing and this negativity is just getting to you whenever this card comes up it does mean and suggest that you guys are empaths okay which means that you do naturally absorb your surroundings you you know absorb people's feelings and emotions and if you're around a lot of negative people or people who you just aren't aligned with i don't feel like you're absorbing that but it does impact you you know you're feeling all those energies and it just doesn't feel quite nice so the regeneration is almost this bright light similar to this one kind of taking you from a situation putting you somewhere else so again if your environment changes it's probably for the best um but if this is a decision that you guys are making again it does feel like it's for the best so that you can be in a situation that's a lot more beneficial to you something that maybe there's a lot more to learn from um an environment where there's a lot better people that you can learn from you know like more positive people whatever it is it's something that are calling for you to change and the one that we could not see is a not for you card so it kind of actually is confirmation here that a certain environment or situation that you feel is not serving you it is not serving you all right so um there are two ways i want to read this the first one is what i've been saying basically meaning an environment situation relationship whatever partnership with someone is not for you okay and that's a decision you have to really kind of come to terms to for others of you, you know, you could be trying to change things in your life and maybe you are met with some sort of rejection. Just remember, rejection is protection. When we are denied from something, it usually is because going down that path or having something from that person may not be as good as you thought it was, okay? So usually, we never really know what's what goes on later down the line. So sometimes it's best to except when something is being blocked from us it's for a reason all right or if you're being taken out of a situation with somebody it's probably for a reason okay um let's carry on for you guys you the woman holding a coin this looks like you guys are focusing a lot more on your finances all right your stability here i always say black cats are my cat for good luck I love black cats so much. <laughs> Whenever I see one, it's a really good positive sign for me that things are, are working out. All right, I've had it a lot. Just come up so randomly. I've not seen one for a while though, so. <laughs> 
I'm going to try and manifest one. Um, but the woman holding a coin, again, this is either your finances, something being of value to you, so whether this is you and this is what you're working on, um, or it could be somebody offering something to you this week. It could be a job. It could be something valuable to you. It could be finances as well or help in some way. This woman holding a coin is important for you guys this week. All right. <clears throat> right, let's get you some more. All right, spirit, please for Taurus to speak. Rejection. We did just speak about that too, which is interesting. Okay, there's a little bit of rejection here. Just remember again, there if if there's always something we can learn from rejection and things like that. Um, the, the other message I get with this is to not fear rejection as well. Again, if something is rejected from you, or you're rejected from something. You never really know whether it's for you or not. I was saying, sorry, little interruption there. Um, but when we have rejection, as I was saying, there might be something that you can learn from it. From rejection, if it's good constructive criticism, then it's fine. That's one message I want to say with this card. But don't fear it. If it's not for you, then it will not be for you. And that's fine. Maybe it's for the best. Um, and sometimes it can teach us something about maybe what we need to do moving forward in another opportunity all right but don't fear rejection sometimes what's happening is this person's creativity is being blocked because he's fearing the judgment and uh, rejection from others okay so i kind of want you to accept when rejection happens it is a blessing in disguise most of the time all right you might not really actually enjoy the opportunity you know when you're actually in it you may realize actually i'm around the wrong kinds of people or you know you never really know so again just emphasizing that for the millionth time um so accept rejection there's always a blessing in disguise and also when there is criticism use it as something constructive if it's really important you know if it's something that actually is valuable then take the advice you know um but anyway if you're dealing with rejection this is just confirmation it's probably for the best but you have faith and this says this little obstacle that is in the road ahead of you which potentially could be this rejection or this change going on in your life you have a lot of spiritual support here who are helping you understand that they are here for you and that actually this blockage is a blessing in disguise so this card actually is <laughs> kind of confirming everything that we're saying it's about having faith spirit knows what it's doing you definitely have three spirit guides around you for some of you out there specifically showing me three potentially uh one feminine energy and two male but that's just because that's what i'm seeing here let's get you one more yeah so having faith and miss rejection and do not let your life dissipate interesting now one message for somebody out there you know the fear of rejection the fear of change the fear of things not working out you know the way that you thought it would could be what's holding you back and making you sit in this dissipating energy which usually is about life letting life kind of slip away from you you know kind of indulging in the short-term fulfillments like she's watching tv nothing wrong with comfort i'm speaking to tauruses after all so you know you guys are lovers of comfort okay um which is fine but you know when there is something that you know you need to do and it would make you happy and in fact maybe even not doing it eventually will make you quite unhappy too you know it's like i really want to do this in my lifetime but then eventually time is kind of passing by i'm not saying that to scare you it's just a fact really spirit's kind of saying don't allow rejection to keep you back in life don't allow the fear of rejection to keep you back in life and if one door closes on you go and knock on another one all right because there are loads of opportunities out there okay just because one door closes it does not mean you give up that's one thing I really, really want to say to you out there. Don't allow life to pass you by. Okay? Right. Let's see what else is going on for you guys. Judgment. Again, this could be what you're fearing here. This says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Okay, so we release judgment of others, judgment of ourself, 
you know, uh, I think I said this to cancer a few weeks ago, like last week. And it's sometimes we judge ourselves before and other people can judge us, you know, put ourselves down so that other people don't have the chance to. And that really does come from us like a, a wound inside that needs healing. Um, because you might be limiting your own growth because you're fearful of your growth being limited. You know, you, you're scared of being vulnerable. You're scared of striving for some kind of success in some way, whoever I'm speaking for. Um, you struggle maybe to even have faith because you're worried that maybe something's going to prove you wrong or something is going to, you know, reject you. Or just remember, you always have these guides around you. They are trying to support you at this time, especially and it's saying if a door closes it's not a sign to give up okay it's a sign to find another door okay here we go i love this actually you have rhino spirit which says overcome any obstacle you guys are known to, you know to be the bull you have thick skin all right so it's about time to use it this week make sure that you are pushing and charging ahead and maybe even breaking the door down <laughs> if you overcome the obstacles here, guys. It basically means you have a lot more strength than you are giving to yourself, giving yourself credit for. And the amazing thing I love this for you guys this week is the dragonfly spirit, which says truth transcends illusion. If there are any illusions around you or within you, they are being shattered this week, okay? Let's dive into your tarot. Let's see what else is going on for you guys. Overall energy for the week for Taurus, temperance, patience, balance. It is the card of, you know, bringing harmony into your world, which is great. This is a really good time for forgiving ourselves, balancing our energies, taking our time, spiritual guidance again, um, but being grounded before we move forward. That sun is in the background. Usually it's a crown in other decks, which represents your success is on the horizon, but you do not need to rush. What will be, will be. I feel like for some of you, you are already destined to do something. The crown is there. Um, yeah, it's, it's whatever that crown means to you. It's there, but I want you to balance yourself first. Right, let's, let's get one energy. One card is an energy for you this week for Taurus page of cups and it did try to come up reversed here which can again be like a, a wounded inner child it could be again about not being able to be our childlike self being vulnerable with our feelings and emotions i'm going to clarify that can we clarify the page of cups reversed two of swords four of swords definitely healing something here one more for the and the three of wands. I will say this is kind of like a really closed off energy for somebody that I'm reading for. And two of swords, what's this decision? The lovers, I mean, and the ten of swords here as well. A really important choice is coming up for you guys this week. And I do feel like it's about leaving something behind or letting something go that feels like it's already ended you know, even if it's continuing, you already feel like this is finished, whether that's a relationship or a job, you know, it's something that really has got you feeling defeated or deflated. And the two of swords is almost like making a decision that you intuitively know you need to do, even if it doesn't feel logical. Um, in this case, it does seem logical for some of you because it's clear to see that something is not making you happy and it's very difficult for you at the moment. But I think you need a break first. Like I think maybe some of you need a vacation or some time out to really think and adjust to something here. Your choice. Kind of similar to what I had for Scorpio last week, which is actually about accepting an ending and actually moving forward and, and leaving the old life behind. And for some of you, it feels like you're kind of in that energy too. You're just not ready to let it go. Whatever it is. So you also have the three of wands, which may feel like maybe this week you guys are, are, are waiting for something to happen instead of being the one to maybe initiate it. And maybe that's what 
could be a bit of a blockage for you guys this week you do the four of one as uh, four of swords sorry and this is a good card for focusing on your health taking a break taking a time out to really focus on things that might be painful to you as uh, so that you kind of you know confront them three swords are above his head you know he's got the one sword with him which feels like that's the truth accepting the truth of the matter of the situation confronting the pain that may arise with it but being able to heal and address something without it you know uh it's kind of not making peace with it but it does feel a bit like that okay so there's an important choice in yours i'm hoping it gets a bit clearer in a second but let's see why why is the temperance here i think this is why that card is here though it's kind of like be going easy on yourself a bit the knight of pentacles and the, the eight of wands that's really good actually so with this balancing the spirit wants you to do with this connecting back to yourself back to faith taking a break some of you really do need to take some time like a retreat somewhere or a time to yourself to really think you know the knight of pentacles is really really good with the eight of wands and they're showing me specifically like I'm seeing a bird coming in. So that means some sort of news is coming away. Maybe that's an opportunity, you know, a new job. Maybe that is uh, some sort of news or communication that's going to be important for your growth because it, it was coming up. I was seeing it over the shoulder of the Knight of Pentacles. So as you're moving forward, as you're working on yourself, balancing yourself and, you know, taking the first steps, planting the first seeds, uh, it does feel like you're going to receive some sort of news here. Uh, and you've got eight of wands. So overall, in the week's energy, you're doing the right things. Balancing yourself, bringing harmony into your world, taking the first steps, movement, moving forward, even if it's slow movement. Things will start speeding up after that. Okay. Um, the eight of wands, does, I feel like you are going to receive a, uh, a, an opportunity. There's going to be some communication about opportunities or maybe you you know plural many which we had earlier but it's also about life is really moving forward for you this is a card saying the obstacles are lifted things are finally moving in the right direction and you're on the right path so this is a really positive sign i think you're going through something internally and that might be blocking you from seeing that so just a reminder spirit saying everything's gonna be okay <laughs> right what's a potential blockage here for taurus then five of pentacles feeling left out in a cold feeling at a lack or feeling like you've lost uh something a person situation you know the king of pentacles this is your energy taurus by the way so it feels like what you feel like you have uh what you feel like you're lacking or have lost you will make back okay you will make back that's important so it's a challenge for now but you are a taurus you are the king of pentacles you are able to find ways to kind of gain back that stability because you are that's just your your nature you are somebody who is gonna find a way to make back the money the um the opportunities you know whatever you feel like is lost will not be lost forever okay I do really feel like you need a break. Every time I look at the four of one, uh, four of swords, I'm like, you need a break. <laughs> All right, overall advice then. The Empress. When you know uh, what you are worth in your life, you know what it is that you're deserving of, you naturally attract those things. So maybe for some of you, your advice is to step into this loving, nurturing energy means nurturing yourself knowing your worth so even when you face rejection it doesn't bother you because you know that another opportunity will arise and if it's right for you you won't have to do much to be accepted into it of course i'm seeing that there is some work needed to be done but it feels like it's more within the inside so um a lot of you this is about healing certain things adjusting your feelings emotions allowing your inner child to be free to say what it needs to say so you can love it accept it this mothering energy could be really important for addressing these inner feelings sometimes we need to mother ourselves okay if we don't have that figure around ourselves or if that figure is not able to um, help you with that okay 
nurturing yourself, nurturing others can actually help you to bring in a stable energy, bring in that abundance that you're desiring here as well, okay? Because that's what she's about, okay? But angels, I'm going to go. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here with me. Make sure you do like and subscribe if you do enjoy these readings. Um, and let me know how, how it resonates with you because I really do love to, to read those comments. Uh, but anyway, I love you. Wish you all the best. And I hope to see you guys next time. All right.